Okay, today I have a, an overload before me. I've uh, done a video before, uh, but that was for uh, direct on learning starter, which comprises this. But uh, today I just wanted to to talk about this overload specifically and show you how to connect it. You've seen uh, panels whereby uh, you would have some of these panel indicator lights, one for trip, especially we use red in case you find a panel uh, that uh, that it has a trip, uh, like this one in the picture. Uh, and then one panel light, it, uh, you could use it for power available. So in this case, uh, when your panel or your, your panel is connected to a pump and uh, your panel is running normally, you'll find that uh, the light for running will be on. And uh, in case the circuit trip, one light, the red one will be on and it will indicate uh, telling you that there is a problem inside your panel. Uh, let's begin. Uh, yeah. First, uh, this overload, it has some contacts here. You see, there are two contacts. Any C that's normally closed and any O that's normally open. Initially, when we are doing our our direct online or we are we are incorporating uh, an overload in our circuit we always use the nc uh, that's the 9695 uh, and we use it because if the, the your load which probably is uh, a single phase or a three phase motor uh, if it has a short circuit or the winding are burning it tends to draw more current and more current than than the overload can withstand. What happens is that before the motor burns, if it senses high current, it will break. And remember, our control circuit has passed through the 96 and uh, 95, which is normally closed. So uh, the overload will sense that overload current and it will cut the circuit or you can call it disconnect to disconnect the circuit and uh, that means that the part that is normally closed it now will be the vice versa the other side of normally open will close and this one will open so our light will be connected on a normally open side so it will it, it will light and when you come next time you find that it is on you will definitely know that uh, your pump has a problem this overload protects the pump or the motor from burning because normally when the motor is to burn first it will it, it starts with a uh, for example uh I'll, I'll make a video about that but uh, for example in most cases in the motor what happens is the if it's over current first it begins with heat and then uh, sometimes the varnish wears out and then the coil will burn. But normally this overload senses that high current and then it will break. So let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate this. Uh, so first what we will do is uh, we have to connect. Uh, have to connect our overload. First, we need to link these lights. Just do like this. So what we do, then let's put this one at once. It's our the neutral line. So 
this is the neutral line you have to loop them like that and you make sure it's tight then we will come back here this is uh, NC yes our first wire at 96 so from 96 we have to connect uh, 96 because each part is carrying a light so definitely we'll have to loop from 96 to 98 so we'll do a loop here and then we take it here that and then you must make sure it's tight that way like that and then we also tighten this one very well okay then we have these two one will be connected here. This is uh, normally open. Then we have uh, another one that will connect to here to normally close. I will uh, the, you look at the circuit just here you look at it you pause the video then it's very easy to follow so uh, now let's connect our light so we will do the trip for the trip we'll use the red yeah. And then uh, and also we get uh, this. So have to tighten it well. Very well indeed. Have to make sure. Have to make sure everything is tight. Okay. Now this is it. So what we do, we have to connect our we have to connect the power. But before we can recap. Now th this one is uh, uh, the line
here. This is the line, uh, and then this is the trip. Normally close. This is normally open, but we had to loop from the line to the normally open, which is uh, here 90, 98. Then at 97, we have a light here, the one for the one for run, right? So uh, our circuit is complete. Okay. Uh, this is how it appear. Now we we have uh, the trip, and then uh, we have the one for running. Now, if I switch on, uh, you check on this light, it's on. But uh, what we do, we have to dim our light first for us to be able to to see that okay so that is off and then that is on so now if our circuit is running uh, uh, our light one light will be on definitely but now if uh, our circuit trips this is what happens watch There is uh, a hole here. It's right here. So this hole, for purpose of testing uh, this overload, they put for you that provision. Some other one you would be able to press here for reset. Because normally if it, uh, normally if uh, it uh, trips and then you find a trip, what you do, you first rectify the problem and then you come and press reset here. So here, assuming it, it trip. Now here, if you measure 97, 98, it's complete because now it's supplying our, our circuit. Uh, the 96, 95, it's off. It's not showing anything. If you test, there is no current there. So the, you find that the current is at 96 where the line is. But if you test uh, 95, no current. Now, from again 96, where we looped to 98, we have current. But if you reset, like I'm pressing this button here, you see, the light will go back uh, to normal. That means you have done the reset. Okay. Back on our light. All right. I had to dim the light because, yeah, but at least you see, you look at, you see the difference. That light is on, and then when you press, now the pressing means that it, it's a trip. All right. Uh, thank you very much, friends, uh, for watching electrica and uh please 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 if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up that really works for me you can comment if you have anything in particular that you maybe you didn't recap or which i didn't do well please put it in the comment and uh i'll always you know do something that uh, you really want to learn thank you very much have a good one bye bye